It's been some time since we had the storm shelter installed in our garage, probably close to two years. We knew it would be a temporary location, but the time has come to move it to its permanent home in the addition. If I can, that is. I forgot how heavy this storm shelter really is. Now I'm going to try and move the uh, storm shelter. So I've got all the bolts off inside, but they used epoxy around the bolts. So I've got all the nuts off. You can see the epoxy around all these. I tried to break them free. I'm not really sure if they are free or not. I'll know when I try to pick it up. But I ran to tractor supply, got myself a big old bolt. Same way that the guys who moved it in here, they use the same setup. Um, so I'm hoping I can use the skid steer and the arm on the skid steer to come in through the garage door and grab it without coming too far onto the concrete. Um, I really don't know how much this weighs. We picked up some pretty heavy stuff with that uh, crane arm. So I'm hoping I can lift this thing up without any problem. And then I got the wall built this morning for this next section. So I'm gonna try to come in this way and then hopefully the arm will reach out far enough that I can just set it down where it needs to go. I should at least be able to get really close anyways. I should be able to get around this without any big deal. And I can stand this one up, uh, or I may wait, it's just getting really hot. So we'll see how this goes. Either work or it won't. get it positioned out over here then I may try to uh, somehow get closer to it and wrap it up that way wrap a chain around or figure something out well I got the pins out <laughs> now I was just trying to figure out how to get this thing off without it falling on my toes I've got two of the pins popped up the other ones are just kind of locked in there but they're they're not holding the door anymore the door is just holding in there by its weight right now I think if I push it this way, at least it'll fall into the wall and not into me. Give that a shot.
success. Uh, I wouldn't say it was easy. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was the right way to do it, but I got the job done. So that's pretty much right where it's gonna go. And then I'll have a wall built here in front of it and they'll connect onto that wall. And um, it'll have that sliding door going across right here, just like we have going into the laundry room. So the only thing I gotta do now is just drill and tap in new bolts, which I've already bought. And now that I'm looking at it, oh, I should be able to do that. I should be able to do that. They, they did it this way, so I should be able to do it this way too. I had a oh shoot moment. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I had to put those bolts in first. So I don't know how that would be done. But we're tight against tight against all of our walls here, so it's looking just like it's supposed to. So now that I've got uh, the skid steer already lined up, I might as well go ahead and get this wall up because I'm pretty much ready to go. Just got to put my sill sealer on the bottom and then uh, it's ready. So that'll be next. I changed my mind. It's too hot out here. It's, uh, um, I could put this last wall up, but it's not doing any harm sitting there until tomorrow morning. I can get it lifted up and uh, get the last. We got a tiny wall and about eight foot wall. Get those built and get those up. Uh, then I can look at screwing everything down, the uh, anchor bolting down the storm shelter. And then uh, I need to go inside anyways and get my material order ready so I can start building trusses here pretty soon. But uh, it's too hot. All right, good morning. So it's the next day. I'll be getting this wall up back here pretty soon. Um, but I was scratching my head trying to figure out why the storm shelter didn't quite fit in the space like I thought it would. And I realized last night when I was hopped on AutoCAD to kind of look around and see what I messed up on. And back when we were getting a storm shelter, I had drew in several different styles. And one of them was a six and a half by a four and a half foot uh, storm shelter from the local company but they would never call us back I just got that dimension off their website and turns out we did not buy that one of course and this one is a four foot by six foot so that has left me with an extra six inches here so the storm shelter I thought was going to come out to about there and I was going to build a two by three wall around it so it's good because it gives us an extra you know six inches on or three inches I guess on all sides to play with um, kind of throws off where the door center of the door is because now the wall is going to be over here instead of over here um, but it'll be fine so the plan is I'm going to go ahead and frame the wall against the storm shelter on this side and I'll probably use 2 by 4s now and then this I could use you can see I could put a 2 by 6 wall through there but I'll probably do 2 by 4 and maybe have some recessed shelves or something like that but that's something for me to figure out a little bit later. So I've got to get this wall put up. There's a like a two stud wall that goes in there. And then about an eight foot piece down there that goes around the um, uh, radiant floor that comes out and has that door. Because this door is going to go right there. So that's what I'm going to get done today uh, before it gets too hot. Then I've got to uh, run to town and get some stuff done this afternoon. So three walls and I'll be done for the day on this. And I need to get back on the computer and continue uh, drafting out my uh, plan for the trusses. I keep changing them. Taking all the exterior walls up, I just have the interior walls that go around the uh, storm shelter. To get around the radiant floor, 
uh, tubes coming out, just kind of notched out around it. And then got some uh, tap cons in next to it so it doesn't warp and twist on me. That should work out pretty good. I'll probably put a metal plate on either side of there to make sure no screws or anything ever get into those pipes. But beyond that, this part's pretty well done. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and type a few pieces I didn't nail, things like that real quick. And then I'll uh, got an appointment later today and then I'll um, work on my material list for my trusses again. And then while waiting for the truss stuff to come in, I'll probably go ahead and start putting some sheeting up so that my uh, studs don't start warping really bad on me. put this storm shelter in, the uh, guys kind of knew we were going to be moving it, or they knew we were going to be moving it, so they told us how to get the anchor bolts in. So these are self um, anchoring anchor bolts, I guess, this little slip ring here. As you knock it down in the hole, as it pulls up, this compression, uh, this wedge pushes this piece out and then it uh, locks it in place but they wanted us to use uh, some super strength anchoring adhesive and so the way they do it is they put the adhesive in the hole slip this down in there and then they just uh, let the nut sit on the top and then wait for it to dry and then tighten them down later that way this whole area down here is just sealed in really tight so i'm going to go with uh, what they told us to do here and this is a double compound um, mix so when you cut the two bags in there this tube mixes them and then once they get mixed it doesn't take long for them to uh, for it to start to harden so inside this tube is a bunch of fins and it pushes the mixture back and forth over itself. Stick this all the way to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five.
can see the adhesive coming up around the bottom. So you can see that adhesive there. So now it's all the way up around that hole. So it squeezed from down here and came all the way up around everything. So the whole um, bolt has sealant around it. Really gotta make sure you blow those out. I missed a couple on the front. Then we anchored in the uh, slab. And so uh, the dust kept it from adhering to so a couple of the rebar pieces in the front slab were slipping. That's it. I'll get these all knocked in there and then wait several days and tighten them down. And then this storm shelter is locked in place. Oh, trying to move this dang door. And I tried to do it on the dolly at first, and that was just killing my back. And I went 20 feet and about lost it. So we use that, uh, we got a 2 by 12 and I put some uh, wheels on it that we've used several times to move things. It already broke one of them. So hopefully we can get there on three wheels, right Sid? Yes. So we're going to try and take the concrete path around and somehow lift it back up into place. Well, we got two feet, not even that, and the other one broke. So. Back to the dolly. Yep. So last time I lifted it up uh, height-wise, whatever, and that was killing me. So if I can get it up this way and avoid these hitting anything, maybe it'll work. If not, city's gonna save me. Yes. I got the uh, biggest problem is getting around these two things. The next big problem is going to be making it around. I think that'll clear it. Alright. I believe in you. So those wheels, I think we're rated at... That was 200 or 400 pounds each, something like that. We had four of them. They can't hold a heavy door. <laughs> huh? They can't hold a heavy door. This thing is ridiculously heavy. <sighs> I already hurt my back trying to get it up once. <sighs> I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I'm psyching myself up. Well, you got this. Hopefully, I'd, I've had things like this fall down and hit my shins and just fillet them. So I really hope that doesn't happen. If it does, I'm passing out. Well, we process some chickens or they need to find. That's because they were buttheads. Fucking them chickies. Yeah, they were they were roosters that were not good roosters. They were buttheads. Alright. You got it, you got it. Keep going. Your face just turned bright purple. You got it. It's on what do there. Holy cheese it's. Yeah. So there's our, the wheels off of. I know. They just like snapped this into. This almost busted. Yep. We both were almost busted. Yeah. Alright. You got this, Daddy. Do you need some help? Oh, this is much. This is much better. Okay. Now my concern is getting over there.
there. Done. Woo! Tell us hard. Dancing. <laughs> hey.